In today's video, I'm going to be going through the top 10 loadouts after the most recent update in Warzone. There was quite a lot of changes, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. First on the list, we have the Armaguera. This is definitely one of the best SMGs ever since the most recent update. You want to use the recoil booster for the fire rate and then the barrel is going to be the 315mm barrel. This is going to increase the damage of the weapon which is definitely going to help a lot. The slate reflector or any optic of your choice, the slate reflector is just my favourite one. We're then going to be using the skeletal stock to help with the mobility of the weapon. And then we're also going to be using the compact stock, I mean under barrel, because this is going to help you strafe a little bit more. As you can see, aim walking movement speed. Which basically means whenever you're aiming down sight in a gunfight, you can move left and right a lot quicker and you can strafe really quickly. 60 round magazine and lengthened ammo type. And then we're going to be using the grooved grip, which is going to increase the accuracy of the weapon and the ADS firing move speed. So once again, it's going to help you strafe speed like a lot. It's going to make you strafe really quickly. Strafing is actually really, really helpful and very, very good. Steady is going to help you just be more accurate. And then we're going to have a quick as the final attachment like i said this is like a strafe class this is really really good for console players because whenever you strafe you get more aim assist so this is going to help you out a lot definitely try it out the next weapon is going to be the boxdom guevere you want to use this as a medium range option close range option kind of partner it with a sniper would be your best option with this weapon but it's really good so you're going to want to use the recoil booster and then the first barrel for the fire rate and the accuracy etc we're then going to be using the 60 round magazine on this weapon and then you want to use the strife angled under barrel to increase the accuracy of the weapon lengthened ammo type and then for the rear grip we're going to be using taped grip to make the mobility really quick slit reflector and then we're going to be using the adjustable stock for the overall just you know accuracy and also some mobility as well and then we're going to be using perfectionist to make it nice and accurate and fully loaded as the final attachment Next up is the Marco 5, and this is definitely one of the best SMGs ever since it really got released. It's been just really good ever since then, so yeah, it's still really, really good. You're going to want to use the recoil booster, and then you want to use the 300, uh, the 355mm barrel. Um, this is just going to increase the mobility by a ton, literally changes the mobility by quite a lot. Definitely going to help you out. We're then going to be using the handstop underbrow just to increase the overall accuracy of the weapon, and then the FR stock. Is going to increase the mobility and accuracy even more we're going to be going for the slayer reflector and then for the ammo we're going to be going for the 64 round magazine with the lengthened ammo type and the rear grip is going to be the taped grip to increase the mobility by a lot the next attachment is going to be momentum just to increase the speed of the weapon and then quick as well to increase the speed this is the full class let's get straight into the next one the KGM-40 is next, and this is an incredibly underrated assault rifle. It got an update or a buff a couple of updates ago, and it's just been really, really dominant ever since then, so I really recommend you guys giving it a go. For this, you want to use the MX Silencer and then the Shrouded Barrel. These are both going to increase the accuracy, the range, and all of that good stuff. The 60 round Magazine and then the Strife Angled Under Barrel are going to increase the accuracy of the weapon. We're going to be going for the Lengthened Ammo Type with the Rear Grip, and then the Rear Grip is going to be the stippled grip tape just to increase the accuracy of the weapon the where is it the 2.5 times optic is my favorite optic for long range weapons but there are a couple of different options you can use so pick whatever one you want to use the 12 v stock is going to increase the overall accuracy of the weapon tight grip and then we're going to be going for fully loaded super accurate very good recoil control and good time to kill and damage as well all right ever since the most recent update a lot of the older weapons got a buff and the m13 is back this thing feels amazing at the moment it's got insanely low recoil and it's got a very very good competable time to kill so you want to use the monolithic suppressor the marksman barrel and then we're going to be going for the vl case three times optic the 6 round magazine and the commando foregrip. A lot of you guys already probably know this loadout. I'm not going to talk about it too much, but it's definitely worth a try using after the most recent update. Okay, the Type 100 has one of the fastest time to kills out of all SMGs. So this is definitely one of the top contenders when it comes to close range options. For this, you want to use the recoil booster and the rapid barrel to increase the fire rate. And then we're going to be going for the 36 round magazine, which increases the damage along with the lengthened ammo type. For the under barrel, we're going to be going for the skeletal under barrel just to increase some of that mobility, along with the taped grip to also increase some of the mobility as well. And the slate reflector, you can use any optic of your choice as always. 
the folding stock and then we're going to be going for fleet and quick for the mobility overall very good time to kill and it's got pretty decent mobility with these attachments on next up this is something you must use after the most recent update the vlk rogue is now a one shot weapon which is just ridiculous you need to try it out so for this you want to use the forge attack marauder this is just going to make the pellet spread a tighter and increase the damage range as well and then you want to also use the czar uh, barrel which is going to increase the pellet spread making it tighter again so you can do more damage and it increases the range we then want to use the five milliwatt laser no stock and then you guys are going to want to use there's a couple of different options you can use you could use the dragon breath if you want to because the dragon breath is a pretty good option or you could use something such as you know a rear grip maybe to increase the ads time it's up to you really, but this is the loadout I would go for, but some people are using a loadout a little bit different to this one. Next up, we have the Cold War MP5, which has a super fast time to kill and very good mobility. I strongly recommend you guys giving this a go. Use the Agency Suppressor to increase the accuracy and the Task Force Barrel. We're then going to be going for the Tiger Team Spotlight, the 50 round magazine, and then the Raider Stock. These are going to increase the mobility, just making this weapon nice and quick. The accuracy is nice as well. Definitely would try it out if you guys haven't used this in a while. Another SMG, the Well Gun. This is a very, very good SMG at the moment. Very good mobility and very good time to kill as well. The Recoil Booster and then you want to use the Short Barrel for the Fire Rate. For the Magazine, you want to use the 40 Round Magazine. This is going to increase the Fire Rate again and also increase the Accuracy. Lengthened and then for the Under Barrel, we're going to be going for the Strife Angled Under Barrel just to increase the Accuracy a little bit. The Slate Reflector and then you want to use the Remove Stock for the Mobility. Taped Grip also for the Mobility. And then Acrobatic and Quick are also going to increase the sprint speed, mobility, all of that good stuff. And this is the full class. Okay, so the final weapon in this video is going to be the Vargo 52. Very, very powerful assault rifle. One of the older weapons that can still compete with the newer weapons. But this is definitely one of my favorite ARs right now. The time to kill and accuracy is really good. You're going to want to use the Grue Suppressor for the accuracy range. Task Force Barrel for the accuracy range. The 60 round magazine. And then the Axle three times and the Spetness Grip. Super accurate, good time to kill, and that is the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.